Hi, Andy Nelson. So often I tell people, hey, let others know that you are claiming rights to a trademark by putting little superscript TM or SM next to the marks uh, you are claiming so others know what your intentions are. And it has a deterrence effect. It keeps people away from using your marks. Or if you have a registered trademark, you use that circle R. Uh, similarly, if you have expressive content, uh, anything from literary works to audiovisual works to artwork, as in graphic art, fine art, photography, architectural works, and the list goes on, um, it makes sense to tell people that you have a copyright. So you put the circle C next to it. There's no registration required to do that. You just put it on uh, next to the, um, uh, the expressive work uh, and usually typically put the date of creation, the year of creation. But what I don't tell people to do is actually how to create that circle Z or the TM, that superscript, or the circle R. So what I'm going to do is show you how to, to do that today on your computer if you're writing something. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my screen recorder here, and I'm going to use Word. So Word, <coughs> Microsoft Word is going to be my example. I'm sorry I don't have another uh, uh, product right here. I'm not sure Google, pay, uh, not, not Apple makes his pages, Google Docs, right? Google Docs might have a similar feature. Uh, maybe I can do another video if I can pull that up sometime. But let's say you're in a document you're going to write, um, and your mark is, let's just say it's Kodak, okay? Let's make that up. <laughs> Kodak. And I know it's a registered trademark. What I'm going to do, if I want to insert that circle R symbol, I'm going to go up here, um, and it's going to look different if you have a different version of Word, I imagine. But Mo should have a general layout um, like you see here. And you're going to go insert. And when you do that, you're going to typically go all the way over until you see symbols right here. Okay, that's what you're looking for. And click on symbols. And sometimes you're going to see, whoa, there it is right there. Um, registered sign is how what they call it. And you're going to insert it, and there it is right there. Let's say, let's go back. It's not a registered trademark. I just have a unregistered trademark that I'm claiming rights in. So I'm going to go back and insert. Whoops, I was already there. Symbol. And what it just happens to be right there as well. TM, right there. I can put it in. Or let's say it's, um, um, I've got uh, lengthy writing, whatever it is. I've got a, uh, or I've got a book. Um, or manuscript or what have you, and at the very end, I'm going to put, uh, I want to let everybody know I have a copyright. So I'm going to go back to symbol, and whoop, there it is right there, copyright, space, I'm going to say I created 1999, done. Okay. Um, if you go to your section here, symbol, and it's not the ones I just talked about, TM, circle C, circle R, do not pop up right here. They're here for me because I've used them recently, but if you don't see them, then go here to more symbols, um, and then you can start scrolling down here and eventually you will find it. There's a tons of, a ton of stuff in here. Um, but as I recall, if you haven't really used any symbols yet, um, the circle R should be, if you recently used them, they'll be in this ribbon right here, or this bar. Um, but even here they will be, they should show up fairly quickly, but you may have to scroll through a bit until you find them. Look, there's the circle C, there's the circle R. And I don't know where the TM is. I'm probably staring right at it, but it's in there someplace. At any rate, um, that is that. How about, you know, we'll, we'll do a Google Docs another time. I assume it's there as well. I do not know that. But anyway, um, so I hadn't thought about that very simple video before. But if you want to insert those symbols, you know where to find them now. If you have any questions um, about this video, Feel free to drop a note uh, to me, uh, drop a comment. If so, this will help somebody, please share this video. Uh, if you have questions that relate to this, um, I have done videos before on how to use those symbols properly, when you can use them. Reference my videos there. I'll probably do another one uh, soon. Um, anyway, hope you have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.